The Amber Sorensen murder trial in Jackson County coming to a conclusion soon. New Center 25 Sean Coffey following the story. He's live with more. Sean. Hi, James. Day 11 of the Amber Sorensen murder trial concluded on Monday, and with the final witnesses called and both summations given, the jury now heads to the jury room, although they will begin deliberations on a possible verdict. Now, in their closing statement Monday, the Jackson County District Attorney's Office attempted to keep things straight and simple, boiling down nine days of testimony to two questions. Did Amber Sorensen kill Jared Parker? And if so, was that okay? The DA pointed out holes in the defendant's self-defense story, citing testimony that forensic analysis of the bullet trajectory and blood spatter, in addition to Sorensen's lack of identifiable bruising or bodily injury, both contradict her version of events. Sorensen had claimed Parker was an immediate threat to her and that they were striking each other before she managed to wrestle a gun she says Parker drew out of his hand. The prosecutor, however, quick to point out the victim outweighed Sorensen by 70 pounds and was former Air Force with training in martial arts. The defense, meanwhile, painting a picture of a protracted abusive relationship that had approached a tipping point of sorts. Sorensen's attorney pointed out there was no physical evidence to support. She said she was the one who drew the gun and cited two prior occasions in which Sorensen had hid in their house for fear of bodily injury, only to have Parker kick down doors to get to her. Now, while the prosecutor's office did acknowledge there was a history of domestic violence between these two, the case really rests on Swartz's conflicting accounts that she provided with police. As the DA says, she gave five different accounts, which the details vary. If she was being honest, they allege that wouldn't be the case. But until now, it's just a waiting game here at the Jackson County Courthouse as the jury begins deliberations. In Edna, I'm Sean Coffey for your hometown news.